Hi, hello guys. Welcome to Architects Learnings. As always, Vignesh here. As you all know, we are making Grasshopper tutorial for beginners. In this video, we will see about components. What is component? What are the types are there? Those things we are going to see in this video. So, let's start. So, what is component? Components are what you are seeing in this screen. Not only this. There are lot and lot of components are available in the Grasshopper platform. So, in Grasshopper, components are the basic building blocks of the algorithm. Every component has specific instruction to perform. When we use them properly, they will give us the output what we want. So, let's go to the Grasshopper to see what are the types are there. We can divide Grasshopper components into three types. Standard component, input component, container component. So let's see about standard component. Standard component as name suggests, it's a standard component like most of the components in the grasshopper are standard components only. Standard components expect input to give output. Let's see with example. Let's take construct point. As you all know, we have to double tap in the canvas to bring a search bar and in that search bar, whatever the components name we will search, we can bring it to canvas. There is another way to bring the component to the canvas. As you all know, we have to go to the component tab, click on any component and click on the canvas. Then the component will come to the canvas. So let's take construct point. It's required X, Y, Z coordinates to construct a point. Since it has x, y, z as 0, 0, 0, it constructs a point in Rhino to preview. So let's see another component. Let's take circle. In this circle, we need plane and radius to construct a circle. So if you see, it's already made the preview because it has a default value x, y, plane and radius as 1. Now you can see the preview clearly in Rhino. So if you take the standard component, we can divide the standard component into three parts. Left side input, sender name, right side output. So, if you see in the circle component, the plane and the radius is the input. In the construct point component, x, y, z is the input. The next one is name. You can change the name of the component. Yes, of course you can. Just right click on the name. Then you can type whatever the name you like. Like let's say now I am typing big circle. For the construct point, I am typing point A. So whatever the name you like to give, you can give for the commons. The next one is output. If you see point A, the point is the output. It will act as the input for the next component. So remember there is three parts input, name, output. So the next component type is input component. Input component give data to the users. It does not require any input. You can find input component in params tab input panel. Let's take number slider. If you see there is no input is required. It is just giving output. The same way we will see other examples also. Like if you go there, you can find clock. It does not require any input data. It just give output. Now you can take another example as Boolean toggle. It just give output as true or false only. It does not require any input. We will see about this in future. Don't worry about it. 
so that's all about input components so as you see input component give input to other components it does not require any inputs so let's go to next component type the container component you can find the container components in the params tab geometry and primitive panels for example we are taking point component so if you see the container components does not do any instructions it just hold data we can add data to the component in various ways we will see about those things in our next video so for now i am adding point in the rhino and setting the data to that component if you see that point component just hold the data of the point in rhino we can use this data as a input for other components so let's take another example circle for this also we have to give data is just hold the circle data this circle is in orange color the point also was in orange color once we set up the data it turn into gray why this is happening the colors are important yes of course it is important it is showing errors and warnings to us so we will see about this in detail in our future video thank you all thanks for the support that's it for today bye